This video is going to be on currency conversion, which is another one of those topics in maths which is incredibly useful not only for exams but for real life. You will probably convert currency thousands of times in your lifetime as you travel around the world and pass off different notes into different currencies. Let's have a couple of currencies to convert between. I actually checked the currency exchange rate about 10 minutes ago, so this is quite an up-to-date exchange rate you got here. One pound actually really does equal $1.52. So if I have one pound, I can exchange that in and I'll get $1.52. A question might be, how would I convert 300 pounds into dollars? How much, if I did that, how much would I get? How many dollars is 300 pounds? Notice, by the way, that it's always two decimal places. That's something we can note down. Currency is always going to be in two decimal places. For example, pennies and cents. So two decimal places. For some reason all currencies tend to use the hundreds. Um, they never go into the thousands and things like that. Although there may be currencies out there that do that so let me know. 2DP. What is 300 pounds in dollars? Well each one pound is one dollar fifty two. So each of those one pounds those, there's 300 of those one pounds and each of them is worth $1.52. So what are 300 of them worth? We would do 300 multiplied by 1.52. We don't just have one 1.52, we have 300 1.52s because each one pound is 1.52 and we have 300 pounds. That's $456. So £300 is worth $456 as of tonight, which is the 28th of February 2013. Notice, to go right, we multiplied. To go right from pounds to dollars, but it doesn't matter what the currency is, as long as the single unit is on the left, the one, to go right, you multiply to get into the other currency. You might already be able to guess. How do you reckon we convert dollars into pounds? So, for example, if the question was, I have $800, how many pounds do I have? As I say, you might be able to guess, if to get from pounds to dollars, we multiply, to get from dollars to pounds, we divide. In other words, $800 divided by 1.52 will tell us how many pounds we've got. 800 divided by 1.52, we have 526 pounds and 32 pence. Notice how I rounded the one to a 2 because there was a 5 next to it. To round two decimal places you look at the number 2 after the dot so that's the 1 then look right that's a 5 but if it was a 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9 we would round it up. If it was a 0, one, uh, one, two, three, or 4 that 1 would stay the same. So here we have 526 pounds and 32 pence. There we are, we've converted between dollars and pounds. I think we're kind of getting the hang of converting between a single currency. So let's set up a question just to finish off our review of currencies. Majid is planning to book a flight between the USA and France and he's wondering if he can afford it or not. He has, let's say, um, 
$700. He's built up his, his savings and he has $700. But the flight costs 590 euros. Okay. Can he afford to take to book the flight? Now let's give you the currency exchange rates, otherwise this question is impossible. So the currency exchange rates are as before one pound equals one dollar fifty two but here we're going to need a second exchange rate. We know one pound also equals one euro and sixteen. That is also, by the way, extremely accurate. I checked that ten minutes ago. So this is quite a lifelike question. Can Majid afford the flight? If not, he's just going to have a holiday in Norfolk, somewhere quite rainy in England. Okay, let's check. He has $700. We can't convert straight away into euros, although there may well be fancy tricks to do so, but there's a simpler, quite easy way of, of converting from dollars to euros, and that's to use these exchange rates and go to pounds and then convert from pounds into euros. And also doing it this way gets us to practice our conversions. So it, it might seem a little bit longer, but we're doing really good practice. How many pounds is $700? How do we go left from dollars into pounds? To go left, we divide. So in this case, we're going to do $700 divided by 1.52 and we found out that we have 460 pounds roughly 460 pounds and 53 pence okay so we have or Majid has 460 pounds and 53 pence I really hope he's got enough to make this flight otherwise Majid might be quite upset right how do we go from pounds now into euros? This is really good practice. How do we go right from pounds into euros? To go right, we times. So we times by this conversion. To go left, you divide. Let's just write that down here. Left equals divide might want to note that down to go right as long as the units the unit the pound is on the left which almost always is um, the unit that's a single unit is on the left then this always works to go right you multiply it's just a, a, a nice easy shortcut way of remembering it okay we have 460 pounds and 53 pence how many euros is that we multiply by 1.16 534 euros uh, with 21 534 with 21 so unfortunately Majid cannot afford this flight and will have to stay in England or in this case stay in the USA and not get that flight but even though Majid hasn't got the flight hopefully you've learnt the lesson of currency conversions